being an artist is not a job. It's a way of looking at the world and reacting to the world. And it doesn't stop at 5 o'clock when I go home or 7 o'clock or whatever it is. It's a way of, uh, for me, expressing how I feel about the world around me. And it is constant. We all have a style. Anytime an artist you know, puts her life to it, she develops a style, a habit of making marks, developing a language, a visual language, uh, using colors in a certain way that is not like any other person who uses color in that same way. And uh, it's, a, it's a matter over time. I'm a gestural painter. I'm, I don't stay in the lines. I don't have a plan beforehand that I work from. I take hundreds of photographs and I do sketches and I do a lot of collages. But then when I face that white canvas, it's, it's, it's a mystery and it's a, it's a um, frightening blank <laughs> stare that I make. Uh, uh, and I just I start in. My first job is to mess up that white canvas and that's where I start. Most of the work is done on the floor. Uh, it, it's, um, I bend over, I stand and bend over. And uh, that, gets, that gets tiring, but it also is enervating because I work around the painting. I, not, I don't start with top being top. That also comes out of the process. So my goal is to allow the, the materials to paint the painting. And I just want to step away. And through that process, and through the experimentation and trying new things, I'm hoping to come up with new imagery. Somewhere in the process, as I'm putting the paint on and layering up the canvas, uh, an image will come, mainly an organic image, usually a flower or a plant part, not the whole plant. Uh, and then that gives me a, a door to walk into to expand on the organic nature. The forms arrive at, on the canvas out of that process and most of my forms have floating aspects to them because we live in such a watery atmosphere and a watery environment. There are no fixed boundaries in Louisiana. If you've noticed you look out on the horizon and it just fades in the distance primarily because of the humidity and that, that, that humidity in the water diffuses all the edges so those hard edges don't exist in New Orleans for me. So my world just floats and it disappears, and things come out of the, uh, the, the uh, up to the surface, and things recede, and it's a give and take process. So my work is about, for me, beauty and fragility, vulnerability. So I like to make uh, works that are not necessarily landscapes, not necessarily abstract, but somewhere in that middle zone that fall on that fence so you can read them either way, and that, that makes me able to um, push either direction. I, I think the, the, the points that I would like to have people go away with are the points about the importance of beauty and the uh, feelings of fragility or vulnerability. Um, and just that awareness is enough for me. That, that's, that would be the essence of it. We, we live in, in beauty. We want to keep that as much as we can. We don't want to manipulate it more than we have to, and we want to, I think we want to leave a light footprint.